starting to think maybe I should just name this series a little bit differently because <laughs> as much as I try my best to keep this to a thoughts on gaming, I find a lot of times it's it, it's very thinly veiled. It's like thoughts on gaming light. Although I guess in a way you could say that's true of pretty much every episode where I'm using aspects of gaming and things that I take in from playing games to to, to kind of use them as a platform, an excuse to talk about some other thoughts and link them together. So maybe I should just go straight to the thoughts. I don't know. I kind of like the concept, even though it, there can be big gaps between episodes because, you know, thoughts don't come to me all the time. Sometimes they need to ferment kind of like the jamming that I do in Stardew Valley. There we go. Tied it right in. <laughs> but um, now this was something that actually came to me today uh, after having some time to reflect not only on what I've been doing with Stardew Valley, but on little things I've been looking at with the channel. I can actually schedule things now. So if you've noticed over the last week and a half now, uh, all of the videos have been coming out at 10 a.m. on the nose. And they're going to continue that way uh, unless I find a better time to be posting them. But it helps add to that format of consistency. Even though for the most part, it's one video every day and it's largely Stardew Valley, which uh, I have no complaints about that. I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Hopefully you guys are as well. And uh, the, they will always, well, not necessarily Stardew Valley per se, but whatever the video in question may be, the first one will always come out at 10 a.m. And once I reach a point where I can comfortably put out two, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and find a good way to space them out. But uh, in learning how to properly utilize the scheduling mechanic and uh, the timing of it all, and then doing my best to work with that in conjunction with how I produce the videos currently, it's uh, it came together with an experience that I had over the weekend where I did this mud run. Uh, went out of town up into, uh, oh geez, let's see, what would this be? Western Ontario, Southwestern Ontario. And, uh, it was long story short, an eight kilometer military obstacle course with walls, barbed wire, mud. There was actually a dead bird in one of the streams that made it interesting when someone just dove in without seeing what was there, all that kind of gross, awesome fun. And at the core of it all, a physical challenge where the only thing you're fighting against is yourself and what your body can take and where your mind is about to give out and where your muscles are about to give out and trying to figure out a way to either work within your limitations, overcome them or outright ignore them sometimes to a fault because it is very easy to hurt yourself on these things, but I digress. I'd done this last year and I'd completed pretty much every obstacle on the course except for one. And it was the very last. This was a bar suspended, I would say, uh, between maybe a 16 to 18 feet off the ground. Uh, and there was this, there were safety precautions in place. Like if you dropped off of this bar, there was a pit of water underneath. So there was something you weren't going to kill yourself falling off of this thing. Um, but you had to cross a gap that let's say, God, geez, I'm, I'm bad with the distances in my mind. 30 feet. Maybe, maybe it was more, which doesn't seem like much, but when you have to cross that distance, carrying your own weight, and again, that it might be longer. I don't know. But when you have to carry your own weight across a distance and it's suspended, it gets difficult quickly. And last year, I couldn't do it. I got about halfway and then my arms, my hands gave out and then I used the crux of my arm. Then those gave out and then I just dropped and I didn't make it. But this year, my whole goal going into it was to beat that obstacle. I didn't care about anything else. Everything else was just in the way the entire time from start to finish. All I cared about was beating that obstacle. And it occurred to me running it like, oh, they may not have it this year. This is the whole reason I came here. I hope they do. They did. They did. And when I got there, I paced myself. It took me a little bit of time, but I made it right across. Didn't drop. Had the same problem where... Well, I got more than halfway before my strength of my hands and grip started to go. And then I was using the crux of my arms, was kind of shimmying across it like reverse Spider-Man style. But when I finally got to the end, I like swung my whole weight, landed on my feet and bam, done, completed. Awesome. And looking at that and looking at the channel and where it is and how many videos I've put up. And then you can't help, as I've said before, compare yourself to your peers or other people who are doing what you do, or even just putting videos up on YouTube. You may look at someone, see how many videos they have, look at the number of views and subscribers and go, 
what are they doing that I'm not doing? And am I, am I doing something wrong? And I mean, there, there's the whole discussion of, well, what kind of videos are they putting up? What kind are you putting up? Are you going after the same crowd? And, you know, there's the difference of equipment, personality, talent, charisma, production value, a whole number of things. But for the purposes of this audio bit, it was a matter of patience and building. So using a Let's Play channel as an example, I do look at other channels and go like, oh man, look how, look at how many videos they have and what they got going on. And I look at all the things they're doing better and uh, what their equipment is and their software and the talent and all those things. And I look at mine and some I think like, oh, I'm better than that. Or I look at some and go like, oh, well, I, I could do a lot better like the way they are. But again, looking at the amount of time I've invested into this consistently, which is going to be held a hell of a lot now by the scheduling, but anyway, it's not that much time that I've been doing it. And it took me an entire year to build up the mental willpower and reserve and the physical upper body strength to carry myself across a 30-foot gap. Whereas before, I got about halfway and then dropped like a sack of wet cement. So using that as a metaphor, it's you see where I'm going with this, that it takes patience and time. In this case, I had to build up to a moment that took an entire year before I could take on that challenge. And I kind of look at this the same way, where, and I think you should too, if you find yourself kind of beginning to get a little depressed comparing yourself to others in something you want to do, just keep in mind that, you know, your point of challenge when you will be able to overcome or move forward or grow is not the same as someone else's, but eventually it's going to come. It's going to take some patience and you're not going to be able to sit there and do nothing and expect it to happen in the time between when you decide to take on this challenge and when you're ready to meet it, you've got to put in a heck of a lot of sweat equity and legwork and build towards this moment when you're going to be ready to overcome the obstacle. In relation to the YouTube channel, I just look at that like, okay, would I like it to be a little bit bigger? Of course I would. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like to see that? It's a great feeling. But do I expect it to happen overnight? No. Do I expect it to happen in a year? No. Do I expect it to happen in two years? No. Well, expect to see a little bit of something, but I don't expect it to be huge at all. But... I do think that with persistence and patience and some hard work, well, hell, with all hard work in every aspect of it, there can be growth, there can be change, and something awesome can come out of it. Not just in relation to a Let's Play channel, but anything that you're trying to do, YouTube or otherwise. Like I said, this one's a pretty thinly veiled thoughts on gaming, but a little something that I felt like sharing and maybe you needed to hear. Hopefully it was mentally nutritious in some way for you. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.